Hello and welcome back to the channel. Over the weekend, I had a weird Wi-Fi speed issue where my speed dropped to only 500 kilobits per second. I mean, not even 1 megabits per second, but 500 kilobits per second. It felt like I was back in the dial-up area of the 90s. But with a simple tweak, I was able to make it more than 200 times faster. In this video, I'll walk you through exactly what happened, the steps I took to troubleshoot the problem, and what I could have done to prevent it in the first place. Hopefully, it can help someone. So, let's begin. So here is what happened. I noticed that when I tried to check my security cameras, it took an unusually long time for the videos to start. Even when it did, the video was choppy and the quality was poor. I also realized that my smart hub for the leak detection system was blinking for an extended period, indicating that it was updating. Usually updates take just a few minutes, but this time it had been going on for over half an hour. On the other hand, my desktop computer, which is connected via Ethernet cable, along with my laptop and TV, which are connected to Wi-Fi, were all working fine. I could watch YouTube videos, download large files, stream movies, and even run speed tests that showed everything was normal, with no issues in my internet speed. So what do we know so far? Some devices that are connected wirelessly seem to be experiencing connection or speed issues. Now, the fact that only some devices are affected and not all of them tells me that the problem cannot be the internet itself. It makes sense, right? Because if it were, then all devices would have been affected, not only some of them. So we can easily rule out an issue with the internet. We also know that wired connections are fine, meaning that LAN, Ethernet cable, or even port issues can be crossed off the list as well. So I guess we have made some progress, which is good. However, since the problem only occurs with certain wireless devices and not all of them, I cannot just conclude that the whole Wi-Fi network is the problem, because it is not. And I think I better look a little bit closer. When I look a little bit closer, I realize that the devices having issues were connected to my IoT Wi-Fi network, which I have set up specifically for smart home devices. The devices that were working fine, on the other hand, were connected to the main home Wi-Fi network. The difference between the two is that the IoT network uses the 2.4 GHz band, whereas the main Wi-Fi network uses the 5 GHz band. That's actually how I designed my Wi-Fi network. So based on that, I guess it is safe to say that the problem is the 2.4 GHz band. Sure enough, when I connected my laptop to the IoT network, I had all kinds of issues. Websites would take forever to load, let alone watching videos on YouTube. And when I finally ran a speed test, it was a disaster, only around 500 kilobits per second. So what do you think could have caused this sudden speed drop? It obviously cannot be a range issue because nothing has moved. Everything is in the exact same spot as before when it was all working fine. It also cannot be a physical obstacle since there haven't been any changes or additions to the house that might be blocking the signal. However, the most likely cause is an invisible obstacle blocking the signal, specifically another 2.4 GHz signal interfering with my 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, this is a very common issue because the 2.4 GHz band doesn't have many channels available. There are only 11 and only 3 of them are non-overlapping. This makes it highly likely that a neighbor's Wi-Fi is interfering with yours. So now that we suspect interference from other 2.4 GHz signal, how do we confirm it and then fix the issue? First, I used a Wi-Fi analyzer tool to scan my network environment. This tool helped me identify which channels were being used by nearby networks. 
Sure enough, I noticed that my 2.4 GHz network was sharing the same channel with multiple other networks in the area. This overlap was likely the cause of the interference and the speed drop. To resolve this, I manually changed the channel on my 2.4 GHz network to one that was less congested. If you're not sure how to do this, you can check out that video where I talk about different Wi-Fi analyzer apps you can install on your phone to find the best channel in your area. Once you find the right channel, you can access the router settings through a web browser or a mobile app. Then find the option to change the channel under the wireless settings and do that. Now, in this scenario, you might be wondering why interference very suddenly became an issue. That's because, let's say, even if you initially select the best and least crowded channel in your area, neighboring Wi-Fi networks and the channels they are broadcasting on can change without notice. For example, a neighbor whose Wi-Fi was on channel 1 might reboot the router. If the router is configured to automatically select the channel, this reboot might cause the router to switch to a different channel. If that new channel overlaps with yours, it can lead to interference and connectivity problems. That's why it is very important to monitor channel utilization in your area, especially on the 2.4 GHz band, which is very busy, and manually adjust your channel if the situation changes, which is something I had neglected for quite some time. So essentially I have two options here. First, if I want to manually select the channel, then I need to regularly monitor the area and change the channel as needed. Maybe once a day or so. It doesn't take that long, only a few minutes. Alternatively, if I prefer to have the router do it automatically, then I need to set it to reboot itself again maybe once a day or so, preferably during a time when the network is not busy, perhaps very early in the morning. Because when it reboots, then it's going to scan the area and select the best channel. However, to do this, I need to set the channel selection to automatic because if I manually select a channel, even after rebooting, it will continue using the old channel. After making these changes, I ran the speed test again on the laptop which was connected to the IoT network and everything was back to normal. Speed was now around 100 megabits per second, which is almost 20 times faster than before. This actually tells me how much this interference can degrade a Wi-Fi network something that we cannot see with the naked eye and need some tools like Wi-Fi analyzers to detect. After the changes, the issues with the security cameras and smart hub were completely resolved. The embarrassing part is that not too long ago I talked about how important it is to choose the right channel, yet I'm guilty of not listening to me? Anyway, I thought I should share this with you so we can all see how serious interference can be in action. The good thing about the 5 GHz band is that it has many more non-overlapping channels compared to the 2.4 GHz band, so it is less likely to have this issue. But that band has its own challenges that we might discuss in another video. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, share it if you think others might like it too, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again, and I will see you next time.